Hey, how you doing? I'm doing a review on the Eric Clapton Crossroads Digitech pedal. So, this is a pedal designed to recreate seven of Eric Clapton's signature tones. And here it is, out of the box. You have the pedal, you got a little pick that says Crossroads and Digitech on the back. You get a little carrying case for the pedal, which is kind of nice. A 9 volt adapter is included, and instructions, and a bunch of other stuff. So here is the pedal by itself. Obviously, it's a very compact Digitech standard pedal, made out of plastic, so don't step on it too hard. And it's pretty heavy, a lot heavier than like a boss pedal this size. So here is the pedal all set up. Obviously, the Digitech logo where you step on it. Crossroads Eric Clapton with the red LED. You have two outputs, one for the amp and another one for the mixer and one input. And you have a level control, a control one, control two, and a model control. So now I'm all set up and ready to play. I'm playing on a Stratocaster through a Vox Velvetronics 30 watt amp. This is my bypass signal. And so now, I'll show you the pedal. So model number one is the model of one of the most classic songs ever, the original version of Sunshine of Your Love by Creed. And so when you put it on model one, then it's designed to sound like it. So this is how it does with everything at middle level. So that's how it sounds. Obviously you know what the level adjustment will do, but the control 1 and 2 will have different gains. So on model 1 you can get a range of sounds from Model number 3 is the riff for Bads. And you can hear in the music, that's a pretty cool sound. And this model does an okay job of imitating it. So he can go... It's a rotary reverb. And I like to have the level higher up on that. And obviously... Controls 1 and 2 determine how much you want the rotary speaker to sound and rotate. Model number six is actually really terrible. It really stinks. It's the model for the unplugged version of Layla, and it's an acoustic simulator, but it's not that great. So here's me playing it on my electric guitar. You know, I haven't adjusted the volume of my amp, and this is how it sounds. I'm strumming also at a very normal level, not hard or soft, but... sounds terrible, and no matter what pickup you use, it sounds like that. And also, you can't use humbuckers when you're on this setting, because I don't know why, but like when I used it for my Les Paul, it just doesn't work, the acoustic simulator. So I'll do that again, but here's me playing very, very lightly. Sounds okay when you're doing that, but, you know, obviously you don't want to strum that light. Sounds terrible. So those are all the models that are different from each other. The remaining ones are just distortion pedals, and they, you know, like the rest of these models, they somewhat sound like the original record. So, this is it, the Eric Clapton Crossroads pedal. You can decide how you think it sounds. I think it's a strictly average pedal, and it's not amazing. They don't sell it at Guitar Center anymore. Now the way to get it is, like, go on eBay or something. 
but it costs like a hundred dollars you get all what's included so there you go